So it's Thursday, which means it's time for another laboratory video. And today we're talking about fast finality. Now, if you don't know what finality is, it's the affirmation that all well-formed blocks will not be reverted once committed to the blockchain. And each blockchain has a different version of finality. On some, it takes longer and some it's shorter, but on Harmony, it's very, very fast. And to test that today, we're gonna to do a little experiment. We're gonna send a small amount of Ethereum to one address and then send it back. And that will tell us how fast finality is. We're gonna do exactly the same thing on Harmony and then we're gonna compare the results. So we're gonna send a small amount of Ethereum to this address. It's gonna be, I guess, 0.00595, which is about a dollar. And we're gonna send it, confirm that transaction. And then we're gonna have a little look at this on Etherscan because here we'll see pending. And now, we wait. And how long we wait is determined by the block time. Now, I looked at the average block time for Ethereum today, it's around 13 seconds. And depending on where you want to send a transaction, the number of blocks it takes for a transaction to confirm is different. But if you're sending a transaction to Binance, for instance, it's 12 block confirmations. Now, if the block time is 13 seconds, that means the total confirmation time is 156 seconds, which is two and a half minutes. So it's time to stop and speed it up. Okay, so the transaction is saying success on Etherscan, but what does that actually mean? If you look, we have two block confirmations. Now, let's go over to our receiving address and see what it says. Deposit confirmed, it has arrived. So what we wanna do now is we wanna send it back. So we're gonna send it back to this address. Yes, here we go, confirm. And now we're gonna look and what happens on the screen. So we have these two going on simultaneously. We have to refresh this page here to see what's going on with the block confirmation. Still saying two, refreshing the page. Four block confirmations. So we're still waiting. And if we look at this transaction here, it's still pending. And we're still waiting. gonna make a label while I wait because you know that's what you do. I might make another label. <sighs> why not? Why not? You know we're, we're waiting so why not make another label? Still waiting. Still waiting. 11 block confirmations. Man. This is boring. Let's print it. Still waiting. We should really do a series about everything you can do while you're waiting for a transaction to confirm. So all of this really should shine a light on why fast finality is important. And we're still waiting for the Ethereum transaction to finalize. And there's nothing we can do. I think it's time to stop this because I think we've proven the point, which is fast finality is important. So let's see what happens when we do it on Harmony. Okay, so now we're gonna do it on Harmony. We're gonna send one, one token to this address. And if we just check how much he has, he has two one tokens sitting in shard one. Let's transfer that. So, yes, go. And this should take around eight seconds. There we go, success. And now we check on his balance. He's got three one tokens. Now here's the magic bit. If I want to now send this back, I want to send it to shard one. If I then check, I've got 6.99 in there. I'm going to transfer one one token straight away. Accept the transaction, go. And with fast finality, if I now check and refresh my balance, 7.99748 one tokens. And that is how fast 
fast finality actually is. So one last final word, if I look at my computer now and I look at that transaction we sent back from Ethereum, uh, it's still pending and we are more than 10 minutes into this thing. So fast finality, isn't that a cause for celebration? Oh, oh. Ooh, that went well, didn't it?